Ah, another prism puzzle. At least the ancient Khajiiti were consistent. Examine that stone plaque, will you? Any clue will be helpful. Knowledge can only be found in the dark. Could that refer to the new moon? Ignore any statues displaying a full moon. Adequately done. Now, collect the triangulant and let's be on our way.
Come along. I can't maintain this portal indefinitely. of his Prajun. One more we need. A Khajiiti queen of renown. A Nequina sharp tongue. Who loves to bask in the glow of the big moon when she reflects and thinks deep thoughts. These are the words, and the words are true. Satari is new to the art of storytelling, so forgive her if she isn't as interesting as she should be. She will improve. Of this she is sure. Old Grandfather, the Lord Master? Satari has heard of him, but has never met him. She was made a moon singer by the previous storyteller to guard the third part of that ancient tale. Since you arrived so late, should Satari tell the story again? In the time before time, when the Sixteen Kingdoms roamed with wild abandon, the hero, Kunzari, gathered champions to deal with a terrible demon and his horde. With Norerian the Perfect and Flintfield Demon Hunter, he sought a third companion. Patience! Satari is getting to that part. The demon said, Oh, little cat thing, you amuse us. How can three tiny morsels ever stand against us? Kunzari laughed. Ha! We may be tiny, but we are persistent. And tricky too, as you will see. Then Kunzari turned to his Krajun. One more we need. A Kajiti queen of renown. A Nequina sharp tongue, who loves to bask in the glow of the big moon when she reflects and thinks deep thoughts. These are the words, and the words are true. Something else, Traveler? This one thinks that stern old wizard wants to talk to you, yes? This new moon singer shows a modicum of promise, but she hasn't yet reached her full potential. Still, the story was interesting, and it points us toward the final triangulant required to make use of the map. Oh yes, the moon singer made it quite clear. Her tail points to an old shrine not far from here known as Jode's Light, the big moon referenced in the story. Once we collect the final triangulant, I'll be able to use the map to find the weapon. Still don't trust me? Neither do I. I know what I'm capable of. I'm no better than the fools that lead the alliances. That's why we'll only use the weapon to get them to the negotiating table. Diplomacy works best when facilitated by a big stick. So far, my elusive stalker has only followed and observed. I'm beginning to think they want us to do all the work before they swoop in to steal the weapon. I assure you, I won't let that happen. Now, 
Let's head to Jode's light. moment, traveler. We need to talk. Please, a moment of your time. I need to speak to you about Abner Thorn. <sighs> My intentions are honorable, I assure you. I am Kamira, agent for the Speaker of the Main. When we learned about Abner Thorn sought the same weapon as Euraxia, the Speaker sent me to intervene. Euraxia Tarn, Abner's cruel half-sister. She conquered my home city of Rimen and proclaimed herself its queen. If she gets her hands on the weapon, elsewhere's suffering will increase a thousandfold. I do not think they get along. From my observations, Abner seeks the weapon for peaceful ends, but this is a delusion. It is too powerful, too evil. We must convince Abner to find the weapon before Euraxia does and destroy it. That is the only way. That would be my master, Garashri. The main can't be everywhere. So Garashri travels and speaks for the main. I suppose you could say I am the speaker's speaker. At least, I am his eyes and ears in this situation. A new main was recently selected. Kali is now the spiritual leader of the Kajiti. Oh, such a question. You do not really expect me to answer that, do you? I will say this, however. There is no one else in Tembriel quite like me. Tharn believes he knows best. He will not listen to me. I am not sure he will even accept your counsel. But you have to try. At first, I thought Tharn was working with Euraxia. From what I have seen, his mission of peace is sincere, just misguided. In every way! How can something of such power be used safely to stop a war? It cannot. When you require a breeze, you do not summon a tornado. We must reach the item before Euraxia and then destroy it. That is the only option. Are you always so direct with your questions? Oh, very well. Perhaps a bit of honesty will convince you of my intentions. Before my parents died, they gave me a pendant. It blocks all forms of magical detection. 
It helps me in my role as agent for the Speaker of the Main. And that is all I will say on this matter. We must focus on finding the item before Euraxia Tharn. I will help you do this, and then we will destroy it. I find it fitting that the final triangulant awaits us in a Khajiiti ruin. I'm beginning to question my own magnificence, if you can imagine such a thing. Despite multiple attempts, I still haven't been able to identify or catch the damnable prowler who has been following me. It's really becoming quite irksome. A Khajiit? Why would the Speaker of the Main send a powerful wizard to hound me so? My half-sister? They're aware of her interest in this? Hmm. But why didn't this agent of the Speaker simply approach me directly? I would have gladly welcomed her assistance in this matter. Destroy my one chance to stop the Three Banners' war? Never. Don't tell me you agree with this nonsense. That we should allow the Dominion, Pact, and Covenant to continue to tear Tamriel apart? Do you want more people to die? That's fear talking. We can end a terrible war if we get to the weapon before my despicable half-sister. I shall see this through. I have to. I'd appreciate your help, but I can't force you. We can discuss destroying the weapon after we end the war. Whether this Chimera agrees to work with us or not doesn't really matter. Is this ancient weapon any more dangerous than the ongoing war? I sincerely doubt it. Let's find the last triangulant and see where the map takes us. Stuhler Academy.
Perhaps you could kill them a little faster. See what you did there.
Technique seems adequate, if a bit unrefined. With luck, we'll gather the last triangle and to be done with ancient ruins. Some of the words have been chipped away. See what you can make of it. Yes, yes, I see what you did. Would you like a sweet biscuit? Collect the tile and let's be on our way.
Come along. I can't maintain this portal indefinitely. Once you know where to look, the location becomes perfectly obvious. Come, let's talk. With your assistance, we gathered the three triangulants that allowed me to decipher the map formed by the Rathstone tablet. I now know that the demon weapon resides in the halls of Colossus, along the southern coast of elsewhere. An ancient structure whose purpose and origin is clouded in legend. Some believe it contains the Dwarven Numidium, which could be the weapon we seek. I've chartered a wagon to get us to the coast, then a boat will take us the rest of the way. Honestly, I don't give a skeever's arse. She may have been able to track me when I wasn't attempting to conceal our movements, but I made sure to... Hmm. It appears this Chimera is more capable than I anticipated. Walls of Colossus? Arrogant Imperial! Without my assistance, you will never survive that place. Away with you, cat! It falls upon me to end this accursed war. So you can declare yourself Emperor? I think not. I will accompany you to find and destroy the weapon. Emperor has never been my ambition. Join us if you want. Just don't get in my way. The halls of Colossus and a demon weapon. By Joan and Jode, no good can come from any of this. I will help you find the item and make sure Euraxia does not attain it. But then it must be destroyed. That is the only option. Surprisingly clever, those ancient Khajiiti. An old tablet, oral histories disguised as fables, and sophisticated triangulant tiles, all pointing to one location, the Halls of Colossus. The abhorrent Three Banners War is practically over. The cat can do as she pleases. Based on the skills she has already demonstrated, however, I'm not averse to having her along. Just realize that I plan to utilize the weapon despite her protestations. Now take this, for your efforts. The Halls of Colossus. A place as mysterious as it is ancient. I never imagined I'd have a reason to seek it out, let alone explore it. Let's hope the item we pursue lives up to my expectations. And that we reach it before my half-sister Euraxia. A few years ago, my deplorable sibling broke protocol and conquered a portion of elsewhere. I assume she wants the weapon to secure her territory and increase the size of her holdings. Euraxia's ruthlessness is exceeded only by her ambition. Half-sister, and I have no hesitation in this regard. To best Euraxia, however, we need to reach the Halls of Colossus ahead of her. Give me and Chimera a moment to negotiate an accord we can both live with, then meet us by the wagon I chartered. Take care of any outstanding business you may have as quickly as possible. I want to depart for the Halls of Colossus and find the weapon as soon as we can. The legends call it the Demon Weapon. From what we discovered by researching the Khajiiti stories, it's hidden in the Halls of Colossus. I want to use the weapon to end the insipid Three Banners War. Chimera, meanwhile, just wants to destroy it. The Halls of Colossus are a place of myth and legend. Personally, I thought it was lost to history until I acquired the tablet. The true purpose of the ancient structure may never be known, but at some point, it became a storehouse for the weapon. Chimera is the woman who has been shadowing me this entire time. Apparently, she works for the Speaker of the Main, 
the spiritual leader of the Khajiiti people. She wants to keep the weapon out of the hands of my half-sister, Euraxia, and I concur. Yes, Euraxia Tharn. She proclaimed herself queen of the Khajiiti city of Rimen a few years ago. Now, I assume, she's after the weapon so she can expand her little empire. It's no wonder the Speaker of the Main sent an agent to stop her. It was those stories that helped us discover the weapon's hiding place. It seems that a Khajiiti hero, Kunzar Ri, defeated the demons and hid their weapon in the halls of Colossus. Obviously, we're seeing the myths, not the truth behind them. Well, of course they are, from a certain point of view. Every myth and legend contains a modicum of truth. The trick is deciphering the allegories and metaphors, stripping away the poetry to find the history hidden beneath the illusions. I have no doubt that there's something hidden in the halls of Colossus, something powerful enough to not only attract my attention, but to enthrall my half-sister, Euraxia. What form the weapon takes, well, we'll just have to see. Your friends have come this way. Half-sister, and I oppose anyone who adds to the woes of the Empire. Stay vigilant and look for a way inside. After Tarn in the Wrathstone, just as Queen Eurexia predicted. Queen? I see my demented half-sister is still full of herself. My queen sends her love. And this poison gas. To me, before the gas takes you. Necromancer, deal with these scum. victory while you can. We'll reach the weapon before you. Well done, Cat. I barely regret your presence now. We need to get that door open. Euraxia's soldiers were here long enough to turn some of the Hull's own defenses against us. We need to be on our guard, Walker. One ancient ruin is much like another. And I have spent a lot of time exploring places such as this. To be honest, I took an educated guess. 
Luckily, Jode's lights shined upon us and my guess proved true. Most assuredly. Unless the Euraxians blunder into them first. But I do not think we can count on that. They figured out how to turn the gas against us after all. First things first, however. We need to find a way to open that door. Many ancient Kajiti puzzles utilize reflected light. The mechanism to unlock the door appears to be tied to one such puzzle. My half-sister has stooped to employing necromancers. How distasteful. No matter. We need to open this door and deal with Captain Calcevius and his soldiers. Interesting. What's with all the dragon imagery, I wonder? That rumble when we entered. Somehow the Wrathstone I carry triggered a mechanism of some sort. It started a process that will eventually open the vault and permit access to the weapon. That's my assumption, in any event. Look around. Some sort of dragon decorates nearly every surface. While ancient, the carvings were clearly added after the halls were first constructed. Well, that's a mystery for later. Right now, we need to beat Euraxia's soldiers to the weapon. It appears I've stumbled into another one of my half-sister's nefarious schemes. I need to be more careful about that. Still, I don't think Euraxia counted on Chimera's presence. That works to our advantage. Just don't tell the cat I said that. Stop the process. Why in Oblivion's name would we want to do that? No. We just need to reach the vault and retrieve the weapon before Euraxia's soldiers do. Now go and examine that puzzle. It appears much the same as the ones you dealt with earlier. Necromancers. Only your sister would ally with such abominations. Half-sister. And who's to say the necromancer isn't the captain's pet? Regardless, Euraxia apparently wants you dead. I have that effect on people, especially my relatives.
What now, mage? Isn't it obvious? Down. Down? It appears to be the only way. I could have waited for my portal. Never mind, let's move on. Dragon imagery is significant, wizard. Of course. Why else sculpt them on nearly every surface? Maybe whoever lived here simply liked dragons, yes? the captain and end this I'm well aware of the stakes cat try to run faster Imperials you think John and George shine only upon you <sighs> another light puzzle well go solve it time waits for no one not even Abnathan What now, Cat? Have you forgotten that we're in a hurry? These reliefs, they tell the story of Kunzari and the demons. Those aren't demons. They're dragons. Jude's light? The dragons are the weapon? Euraxia wants to release dragons! Damn it all! I have no use Come on, let's put a stop to this. Why won't you open? Stop! 
You will not release those beasts! Queen Eulexia wants those dragons! One way or another! I think that did it. Oh, now what? Brothers, we are free! Dark Moons, get down! Dragons! You release them I was trying Elfman. to stop that from happening. The blame falls squarely on Captain Calcevius, I'm quite certain. He was working for your sister! Half-sister! But let's finish this back at my camp. Come along. I can't maintain this portal indefinitely. That could have turned out better. At least we stopped my half-sister from seizing control of the imprisoned dragons. That's something, I suppose. Of course, this delays my plan to end the Three Banners' war and last it all. Everything garishly set me to prevent has occurred. I knew going to the halls of Colossus was a mistake. Now dragons are loose and elsewhere. At least we stopped Euraxia's soldier. I suppose that counts for something. <sighs> Other than set the dragons free? I have no idea. Luckily we stopped him from completing it. Whatever he hoped to accomplish. I wonder if Abnor knew about the dragons. If his plan all along was to release them into elsewhere. After he set the whole troublesome event in motion. If Abner had never acquired the Wrathstone, if he had never figured out the location of the ruins, Jode's light, if he had never taken the damn tablet there, none of this would be happening. They would have... Ah! I should not push these angry thoughts in your direction. All I know is that a lot of dragons escaped from an ancient prison, and now they are loose in elsewhere. My people, they must be warned. <laughs> 